uh, you know, there's a couple characters on certain shows that you just feel like, yo, that, you know, you know, that could have been me. Like if I was in the streets back in the day, you know what I'm saying? Like I could have pulled a girl like Keisha, but he took her from me. But I was just saying. You were JJ rocking that cane glove? Or were you Michael? Was he, you were already mad at everybody. I was mad at everybody. Right, 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 right. Bernadette, no, Bernadette, Bernadette was like one of my um, uh, first crushes. Yeah, yeah. Bernadette Stannis was Stannis, beautiful. Yeah. Shocking. But I always wanted to tease you about that because I was like, oh, my God. Because you always have the finest sisters, you know what I'm saying? And in this movie, uh, again, a boom. Annie Alonso, beautiful Co- woman. I mean. Great well, actor, too. Wesley told me you got to put it in contract. Because I don't know if y'all go back in Wesley Snipes' career. Uh <laughs> All his co-stars was bananas. I think he had it like in the, in the fine print. Bad, yeah, get somebody bad. Bad chicks. She got the ah, she got to be bad to the motherfucker. That's is, it, man. Is that but, it? But shout out to shout out to Fifty, man. Like yeah, I, every time 50. I get an opportunity to just shout him out, man, mm-hmm. I, I have to because a lot of people look past uh, for whatever reason what he's built. And, oh my uh, god, I mean, it's, and, it's and, phenomenal. He doesn't get enough credit to me, man. The fact that this dude 22 shows, he's 22 got 22 shows, shows, but at the same time, they made these shows that have beat every network television show for the last uh, damn near decade, yes, sir. And uh, keeps growing them and keeps doing them. And it's just, I'm looking at this dude going, if he was anybody else, they would have already been like, he the new dick wolf. The you power show is so, the power show is second only to Game of Thrones. And, think, and you have, how, think of how many people don't even, like, I remember when people would be like, what you been doing for the past six years? I'm like, I'm oh, working. And they're like, power. And they're like, oh, powers? I was like, no, 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 no I'm not wearing a cape. work. It's a, yeah, so and it's, do, it's amazing. It, right, man. It, it, it always blew me away, too. But think, power, BMF, you know what I mean? I mean, all of it, man. Raising Canaan. Like, for life. For life. Just think about, just... I mean, and, and quality stuff. And telling these amazing stories. And I, yeah. and, and obviously, excuse me, and obviously 50 is independent to a degree as well. You yeah. know, he's outside of the, uh, you know, the studio mold. He uh, came in as an independent and said, I got this idea. And then somebody like Star said, oh, well, let's just see how it goes. A kaboom! Yeah. <laughs> a kaboom! Man. Built a whole goddamn network by itself. Put him on their back. And then now they're acting funny. But whatever. You know, that's the game. Man. Well, gave us this this brother right here, man, who I absolutely thank love. Thank you. And we got Joseph. Yeah, we got Joseph, man. <laughs> Joseph, thank I'm you. Grateful, for, yeah. grateful, thank you. grateful to be here. Believe me, just grateful, grateful to be here. Can we tell a quick story of the yeah. intruder of yeah. Omar Joseph? So Omar Joseph uh, <laughs> said to Mark Berg, he said, I got, they said they wanted a black comedic actor to right. be the best friend of uh, Michael Ely's character in The right. Intruder. And Omar Joseph, God love him, Brooklyn born and raised, says, I got your black comedic actor, but he's a white dramatic actor. Now, hold up. <laughs> hear me out. <laughs> hear me out. <laughs> Mark Berg says, I don't know this guy, never heard of him. He said, well, you got a son. He's uh, 17 years old or something. He said, I bet he watches Power. So you go home and you ask him who his favorite character is. Mark Berg apparently came back the next day and he goes, all right, how much is he going to cost? <laughs> that's true. That's true story. Are you serious? But you, I mean, you got the goods, man. It is what it is, man. We, we, I'm all about, Wiz Khalifa said this on one of our interviews. He said, we are, should be in the era of celebrating each other to the fullest. Instead of being negative and finding something to say, let's celebrate each other to the fullest and push each other up. And that's what I'm doing with this. This is one of those times where we need to push each other up, celebrate it so we can keep continuing to do that and go out and support everybody out there this weekend. We got a killer movie for you, Fear, Joseph Sakura. We got T.I. We got King Batch. We got Terrence J. It's like it's like in a it's a hodgepodge of crazy. And I'm just telling you, 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 you it's just a hodgepodge of crazy. You ain't gonna know what to do with your goddamn self. And it's gonna be a, did I describe it just right? It's a hodgepodge of crazy. Real quick, real quick, before we uh, we get out of here on. Top billing, we always have a segment called All Facts. So All Facts is all about, I ask you a question, you tell the truth. And you both get a question. All Facts for you, Deion Taylor. You get five directors to be a part of your project, past, present, and future. You, all of y'all going to collaborate on a project, but all of them have influenced you in some way, and you get an opportunity to work with your top five. Mm. It's kind of dope, right? That's a good one. That's a good one. Go ahead. Oh wow! Uh, Who would they be? Damn, that's good. John Singleton, of course. Bam. Um, Michael Mann. 
Boom. Mm. Spielberg. Oh, you got it. You're going to have the budget of life. Go ahead. Ridley, <laughs> Ridley Scott. Oh, you going in. You going in. He going in. And probably um, Sidney Portier. Oh. They call me Mr. Tibbs. People don't know, man. Sidney Portier <laughs> uh, directed Stir Crazy. Yeah. He's and the first black filmmaker to ever have a movie that made $100 million in the box office. He was the first? First. What? I didn't know that either. Y'all don't remember Stir Crazy? I, oh, I, I saw Stir, Stir Crazy. A lot of people, I tell people I thought, that Sidney Poitier thought... directed Stir Crazy, they'd be like, what? Yeah. I, said, yeah, he I directed thought he directed Let's Do It Again. And, um... He did. Man, he was amazing. He was amazing as a filmmaker. Wow. And uh, just what, what I loved about um, artists, I wish he would have done more films, but what was so great about him, if you think about the balance of Stir Crazy, was very serious, very funny, yeah. very canny, very outgoing, but it was grounded in something very ugly and real. And um, I just love that, man. I, as, I, I, I really, really like him a lot as a filmmaker. I try to grab a little bit of that energy in what I do, like make sure it's in the real place. It's the same with... Um, John Singleton, man, just from a very real... Yeah, man. You're, you're, that's you're, what you're, he knew. Bro, your top bill and top five is crazy. <laughs> There's nothing to talk about. It's undisputed. So, Joseph Secure, all facts. Uh-oh. All facts. Uh-oh. Hey, fellas, it's for all the players out there. Ooh. Yikes. All right. Here we go, oh, Joseph no. Secure. You get to pick your next five co-stars. Fine oh, as hell. Fine as hell. They got to be smoking hot. There's a lot of people out there look up to you. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> the streets is waiting on this list. So they got so you pick your top five co-stars. They could be in the future that you want to work with or somebody that you already like. L- ladies and gentlemen, on top billing. Let's bring Bert back Bernadette Stannis. Oh, yeah, he go old school. Let's bring her back. Good times. Oh, you good times. He freaky. Um, uh, he, he freaky. Out there. <laughs> what you get? He going back to the old auntie. Okay, good. That's cool. <laughs> <laughs> Aubrey Plaza. <laughs> Aubrey. Yeah. Okay. Um, all, right, all right. All right. I like. I like you keeping it saucy. Oh God. Uh, Florence. Florence. I know. See, I said. I, I thought feel, you said Florence from. Did you say Flo? Florence? <laughs> bring back Flo. I, I know you bring back Flo. I'm bring, if you, him, oh, I'm boy, bring him back. I'm boy. not afraid. He not. A- <laughs> He gonna get Florence. Oh hell no! No, don't bring back Florence. Well, no, I mean, no, no, get, get you, 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 get you something. Get you something. <laughs> get, you, get you something, man. You already did one throwback. Get you a new. Get you a new. Do I get, do I get round two with Lala? Yeah, oh, you like got that. to have that. That's a reunion. That's a that's that's must do. Okay, that's Lala cool. makes the top five. We got uh, two more. Margot Robbie. Oh man, you took her from me, man. <laughs> oh, she she up there. I saw her, I just recently saw her yeah. in Babylon, and she was a little crazy. I was like, that's probably her real life. Like, you know what I mean? That's, that's the one, like, that's, 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 that's the chick, yeah. That's the chick, like, you meet at the restaurant, everything could, and then you got doo in your bed, like, in the hotel. You're like, you know what? <laughs> was that you or was that me? Yeah. That was you. <laughs> that was you. <laughs> that was you. And Jessica Chastain. Yo, you got a nice, man. You got a nice, you went old school, new school. I like it. Hey, man, I want to thank you guys both for coming uh, to Top Billing today. Chilling. You got some ladies out there. They just waving at y'all. So maybe, you know, they seen a movie already. I don't know. You know what I'm <laughs> saying? Maybe, you know, you about to be on the next level, level, level. But uh, more importantly, I want to thank Deion Taylor, Joseph Shakur. You guys are Top Billing. You are part of our squad. Coach a king in the game. Let it be known. Top Billing, baby. Catch you on the next episode. All the way from Hollywood, California. Holla.